Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I wanted to share with you my TBR for the RIP Readathon. This is a readathon that was created by Paige over at Creating & Co. It is the Rest in Peace readathon and it's taking place this month from October 8th through the 14th. And as well as participating in the readathon, this also happens to line up with the um, Charms Extra Credit for the Magical Readathon hosted by G over at Book Roast. So I will leave a link to G's announcement video for the Charms Extra Credit, a uh, link to the Creating & Co website which has her blog post or the blog post about the RIP Readathon, and the link to the Creating & Co book club which is where this uh, Facebook book co club group. I always stumble over that, but that is where we will have discussions about the group book and just chatter and sprints and the like will be going on throughout the readathon. So this is a readathon that is a week long. There are five reading prompts and I believe there's probably four photo challenges. I'll go over the photo challenges when I show you the planner kit that I will be using in my Erin Condren planner for the week. But right now, I am just going to go over the books. So the first prompt is to read the group book, which I believe has been decided as a discovery of witches. We did a poll in the Facebook group, and I believe that's the one that won. Um, but again, uh, if you visit the Facebook group, then you'll be able to see which one we have actually decided on. So I think for this book, I am going to skip it. Um, it seems interesting enough, but I don't have a really strong desire to read it, so I think I'll probably only aim to complete four of the five challenges just because I'm not really as interested in this book as I am in the rest of my TBR and the rest of the books I have planned to read for October. So the next prompt is to read a book with black on the cover, and for this I am reading Never to Return Again by Christine Makepeace. This is a collection of short stories or unusual tales as the title says. And um, Christine is actually a very good friend of mine. This is her second book that she's published and her husband Zach actually did the artwork for this title, um, this cover. He did the uh, artwork for her other book as well, Wake Up Maggie. Um, so I'm picking this just because it's her second book and I haven't read it yet and I'm sure it's going to be unusual and spooky just because those are that's the genre that she really enjoys and she writes towards. So um, in the shadows there's black um, even in the building silhouettes and the person silhouette there so this is perfect for that prompt. The next reading challenge is to read a book with a keyword in the title and I don't remember all the keywords but I will leave those down in the description below and as well as if you check the Creating & Co blog post on the um, website you'll be able to see what the keywords were. I know Dark was one of them though and I am planning to read Our Dark Duet by Victoria Schwab. Um, this is the Dark no, The Savage Song um, duology. So this is the second book in uh, that duology. And I don't know exactly what the second book is about, but from the first book, I know that um, <clears throat> there's basically humans and monsters, and the monsters are created out of, um, like, the bad things that people do, and in order to protect yourself, not from turning into a monster, but pr to protect yourself from the monsters, you have to pay. Um, and I believe the Savage Song follows um, a human who wants to be in a monster and a monster who wants to be a human. So I'm not entirely sure how their stories intertwine, but I am really looking forward to it. Um, this is also a book that I plan to read for the Charms Extra Credit, which I will show you in my bullet journal and kind of do a review of what that is. Um, and I'll tell you, actually, let me just flip really fast. I've got it right here. Um, I plan to do this for the Accio Charm, 
which is a book with um, a book pulling you toward it at the top of your TBR. So I have um, right here, I've got the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy, and I also have this duology, and I have never read a V.E. Schwab book before, so this is definitely needs to happen because I've heard really good things about her writing. Her books seem compelling to me, and it's a little silly that I have five of her books and I've never read one, and I just keep buying her books even though I don't even know if I like her as an author yet. So this is definitely a top of my TBR pile pick. Another prompt is a cozy read, and for this I am picking Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. Um, I don't know that she writes cozy mysteries. I know she was kind of a breakthrough in the mystery genre, especially being a female author. Um, I just picked this book up, I think, last year because the movie adaptation was coming out and I really wanted to see it. And I'm the type of person who likes to read a book if I'm interested in seeing a movie and the movie is based on a book. So this, um, I don't know, it's a murder mystery. It takes place on a train. I think trains are kind of cozy, so this is going to work as a cozy mystery <laughs> or a cozy read for me. Um, I also have planned to read this for a magical readathon, uh, one of the Charms Extra Credits, and I have it down for um, Rick Zempra, which is a book that gives you butterflies or tickles your fancy. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure that this is kind of a stretch, but I love trains, and basically anything to do with trains just really tickles my fancy, I guess. So this is what I am using that for. <laughs> and the last prompt for the Magical Readathon is a creature feature book. So this is where I am pulling in the Savage Song. So I plan to read the duology for um, this readathon. I'm going to try and get this on audiobook through my library. But like I already explained when I was going through our dark duet, um, this does have monsters in it. And I mean, monsters are creature feature in my mind. Um, and then I also have this pegged for um, uh, one of the Magical Readathon Charms extra credits, and I know I have this as Alohomora, which is a first book in a series because Alohomora is the unlocking charm. So if you read a first book in a series, it unlocks the rest of the books. Um, so this is the last book that I plan to read. Um, so far, The Savage Song is the only one that I think I'm going to get to on audiobook, which should be okay. Um, the, the Savage Song duology is young adult, so it is, um, bigger print, bigger spacing. So even though they're pretty thick books, I should be able to get through them relatively quickly. So now I'm going to change the angle and point you down and show you the, um, the sticker kit that I'm going to be using for next week. Is it next week? No, the week after. As well as just kind of what the charms um, extra credit stuff is. So let's switch angles. All right, so here we have the creating and co kit that um, a lot of us are going to be using for the week of the readathon. I did buy the add-on glitter sampler here. So you've got your glitter headers, your glitter scallop labels, and your glitter quarter boxes. And then I also bought the add-on for the, to be readathon specific. So on the side here, you have um, half boxes that show the reading prompt. And then it also shows what the photo challenges are. So the first photo challenge is book candy, and this you need to pair a book with your favorite candy or candy fits that fits whatever book you're taking a photo of. Um, this might be really fun to, like, with your spines, try and make kind of a candy corn looking book stack, and then, I don't know, sprinkle some candy corn or some other favorite candies there. That might be what I do. Um, spooky shelves is to show off some Halloween decor in your favorite dark books. 
unmasked is to show the prettiest cover you can find without the dust jacket. And planner costume is to dress your planner up um, and then show how you plan the week. So whether you use this readathon kit or um, any other fun like Halloween plannery crafts you have. So those are the photo challenges and this is the other add-on page. And then the base kit is right here. So we've got the full boxes and I love how it's just um, your one focal color is this kind of burgundy maroon color and otherwise it's just grayscale. So it's really nice and really spooky. Um, I probably will not be using the Ouija board because those scare me a lot. Um, which is fine because I have another full box right here. And then this is the deco page along with your functional stickers, your weekend banner, your date covers. And this is the washi page. The bottom washi is just so simple and beautiful. I love, again, that it's just, it really isn't going to take away a lot from the full boxes here which I love. I don't like when bottom washi is too busy. So you also get an extra um, ombre heart checklist there and then a weekly ombre list. You've got extra washi strips, your habit trackers, page flags, and some asterisks. And then this is the page with your um, heart checklist flags, uh, half boxes, quarter boxes, and scalloped labels. So I'm really looking forward to having this kit in my planner. I think I'm going to pair it with some silver foil just to, I don't know, spice it up a little bit. So then the other thing I have to show you is my bullet journal, um, which I have written down the Magical Readathon extra credit stuff. So <clears throat> basically what this is is a chance to earn extra days extra days to tack on to your readathon. Um, the owls, I believe, are still going to happen in April, and I believe the NEWTs are going to be in August. So um, if you plan to sit either of those, there are going to be other subjects, but right now we're starting with charms to where you can earn extra credit points. So there are five different reading challenges you can do. You can only pick one book book per challenge. I don't know why I'm having a tough time with words right now, probably just because I'm still getting over my cold. Um, but basically, if you read all five, you can start your readathon five days sooner. If you read four, you get four extra days, three, you get three extra days, and so on. So I have planned um, to do Alohomora, which is the first book in a series, Accio, which is a book pulling you toward it or the top of your TBR, Incendio, which is a book with flames or fire on the cover in the title or the name of the series. Lumos, which is a white or light covered book. And Rictisempra, which is a book that gives you butterflies or tickles your fancy. Um, here are the hashtags we're going to use if you want to do the, participate in the photo challenges or participate on Twitter. It's still Magical Readathon 2018 and then Charms Extra Credit. And then each day there is going to be a photo challenge. So for the 8th, it's charms and it's just the most magical item you own. Nine or The 9th is Lumos, which is a light book cover. On the 10th is Incendio, so some aspect of fire. The 11th is a study snack and your current read. The 12th is Aloha Mora, so the best first book in a series. Then on the 13th is Accio, and it's the top of your TBR pile. And the 14th is Rictisempra, so a read that gives you butterflies. So this is going to be definitely a jammed pack week full of fun activities. Um, I kind of like when reading challenges line up um, with the same week even though it can make it difficult to pick books that fit everything um for this one it's actually really simple and 
I'm really looking forward to it. So if you are participating in either the Charms Extra Credit or the RIP Readathon, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what you have planned to read and just what you're most excited for. So please do chat with me down in the comments below and I will speak with you there until my next video. Bye!